We are so thankful, O Lord, for your love. For this couple that you have brought together, we believe from the very day they were born that you had plans for them, Lord, and we thank you for bringing them together at this time. Lord, we pray that you would bless, Lord, them in every step of their way. Lord, bless them in the occupation that they've chosen to serve people. Lord, we know that you can use them in special ways as they dedicate their lives to you together. And we pray that, Lord, you guide and direct in everything that they do and say. These things we ask in your precious and holy name. Amen. Father, we love you because you first loved us. We thank you for Jesus Christ, our Savior, and we thank you for his commitment to love us unconditionally. So, Lord, we ask that you would give Laney and Travis grace and mercy to do the things you're calling them to do and to be the people you're calling them to be. And we ask these things in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. But unconditional love. Love is a feeling, a special feeling, a real feeling, but it's also more than a feeling. It's a commitment. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always helps, always perseveres. Love never fails. It never gives up. Travis, you are to love Laney, even when, and especially when, she doesn't deserve it. Laney needs your love most when she deserves it least. And the same is true for you, Laney. You are to love Travis, not because he's always going to be so lovable, but because you have committed to loving him unconditionally today. And this isn't easy. But the best way to do this is to realize that this is exactly how God has loved both of you.